Welcome to the show. This is The Building Consultant. My name is Sam Wanyoike. I'm your host and this is where we educate, challenge and inspire you on your journey of construction. Today, we want to discuss seven steps of construction. first step that you need to know is that before you start construction you have to have several documents that are with you we discussed a good number of them in the previous episode but i just want to highlight on a few that will be very important for today's show one of the documents that you need is that you need to have what we call drawings we have architectural drawings we also have structural drawings you also need to have all the relevant documents that will be needed from you, your ID, your KRA PIN, your land uh, title deed, your official search, uh, the land clear clearance rate, the survey map, and the change of user. So the first thing is to be able to, the first step is to be able to have the right documents and one of the documents that needs to need an adequate preparation is what we call the drains. We have architectural drawings and structural drawings. The second thing that you need in, in, able to, to, in order to be able to realize your, your construction is what we call approval from the relevant authorities. Here, you'll be required to have an approval from the county authorities, the county, the county council authorities in the county in which the building or the land is located. The second is NEMA, the National uh, Environment and Management Authority. The third one is the National Construction Authority, the NCA. Should you be required, requiring a facility from um, uh, maybe a bank, you need to, to be having the finances, yeah, in order to be able to start. So you need to go through the rightful process in order to be able to start. So the, the second stage, as you said, is getting approval from the relevant authorities. The third thing that you need with you, once you have all these documents, once you have all, you have, you have met all the conditions from the government, the authorities, then you come to site. The first thing is you need to assemble a team. You need to know who will be your fundi, who will be, who will be doing this or doing that, especially the key people on the ground. You, you would need a caretaker if at all the place is a bit unsafe. So in the third step, you will require to start now preparing the ground. This means you will uh, do the bulk excavation, removal of the topsoil, that is, uh, or removal of the vegetation on the ground, cutting down of trees that, that, that could actually be in the place where you want to build, to build your house. The, or, or, and even starting to excavate the trenches. You also need to prepare the amenities the, that will be necessary for the site. You need to know where you want to position your store, where you position your site office, where you position the toilet, and, and even the gate. You need to do what you call the hoarding. Hoarding is the covering up the, the area where you are doing the building and be able to come up um, to, to provide what is the the signboard. You need a, a signboard that talks that give details of the various consultants that are on this project, and even the approval that are done that have been done from the council, the NEMA. If at all you have the numbers uh, for approval, the uh, the details for approval. The, the certificate number, you need to have all those details captured in the signboard. So once all that is ready, now we come to the fourth step. So on the fourth step is where you are doing what you call the substructure works. The substructure works, the substructure works include the, the doing the foundation. The foundation is right below the ground. That is you would need to, that is where you lay your building, where the building rests eventually on the ground. 
that is done some, de some, some meters below the ground depending on the soil conditions. We'll be discussing about the excavation works or the foundation works on the soil properties that are that are that would influence the way you do your foundation works in another episode so the foundation works would involve the doing foundation pillar the basis that support the pillars that support the house the found the trenches that will be covered with concrete to be able to support the foundation walling and substructure works and at the point where you finish concreting your ground into casting or putting concrete on the ground floor slab. The fifth stage is the, sub, the superstructure works. The superstructure works. The works, these works involve now what the, the building above the ground floor. That means the walls that will be done, the pillars, the, the slabs that are all necessary. So these works is up to the roof level and it will be very important if you want to do your building stage by stage to divide it in such a way that works run seamlessly and effectively in order to um, avoid uh, disruptions, in order to avoid uh, wastages, so on and so forth. At the fifth stage, you do you, your structure up to the roof level. Then once you have covered the roof, then you can consider you've finished the superstructure of that building. So the sixth stage is what we call the building finishes. This will involve the works such as plaster works, the, the paint works, the fixing of doors, fixing of windows, and it also involves electrical works such as wiring and even fixing the lights and should you be having internet? Yeah, we understand we are in a data data age. Also, you would be required to do the plumbing, that is fitting the toilets, the bathrooms, and so on and so forth. Also, at this stage, you, you, you undertake the tiling and the ceiling. You do the screening, and, 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 and if, if you want to do uh, there are different kind of tiles that would be that you one would, would prefer to do. There are different kind of wall finishes other than paint that one would want to do, like wall master and uh, stickers. So that is the sixth stage that one is uh, that one would be required to undertake before you finish your construction. So what is the seventh stage? The seventh stage is the owner occupancy. So once you have finished everything that entails the building finishes, then the owner begins to prepare to, to come into the premises. But in this stage, there will be some minor works that are, will be done on the external. That is the external works that normally continues even, even when the owner has already taken, uh, taken over the, the building. Uh, at this stage also, uh, during the owner occupancy, there is what we call the repair and maintenance. There could be some things that have not been fitted well that would require to be fitted. Those are the seven steps that are involved in the building construction. So that is what you needed to know uh, in our today's episode. And thank you so much for tuning in. We request you to kindly subscribe and click our like, uh, the like button that is provided below. For any comments or questions, you can write on the comment section or contact us in the details that are provided uh, on the screen. Thank you very much for tuning in. Looking for more in the next episode. Thank you.